action. This next battle is three five minute rounds in the featherweight division. Introducing your first competitor. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a professional record of eight wins and two losses. He stands one of 76 centimeters tall and weighs a ready 65.98 kilograms. Representing Spitfire and fighting out of Berlin, Germany. Please welcome Alishair Abu Hamz Abdullah. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a professional record of 12 wins and three losses and one draw. He stands 180 centimeters tall and weighs a ready 66.12 kilograms. Representing Team Thriving and Fighting out of Helene, Netherlands. Please welcome Jarno Our referee is Gart Richter. Ready, ready, stand. Very excited for this fight. It really is a do not blink kind of fight. Between them, these fighters have 14 wins by way of stoppage. Nine first round finishes collectively. Expect to see Yarno throw hand combinations, follow him up with a kick. Nice inside leg kick thrown there by the southpaw, Ali Sher. Oh, straight shot right down the middle. Little hook from the oh, little hook from the southpaw, Ali Sher. Both these guys very evenly matched, very dangerous, and potentially a big statement win. One of these guys could place himself front and center as the number one contender for the NFC featherweight title. Abu Haf shifting just a little bit from that southpaw back to an orthodox stance and then returning quickly to southpaw. Oh, Beautiful timing! That was textbook. Catch the kick, follow up with the strike, put your opponent on their back. In fighting, like life, timing is everything. Brave Nation, you just saw perfect timing. Good solid head positioning here from Abdulayev. Just underneath the chin, controlling the head. But Aarons could be looking to set up a triangle here. Has wrist control. Very dangerous off his back, as we alluded to. Five wins by submission, all different submissions. Just locking up that body triangle from the bottom, lets it go. Usually when a fighter opens up their guard, it means that they're trying to create something, whether that be space or a submission opportunity for themselves. Got the frame, nice little elbow from bottom. That was very nice. Alishair trying to open up that guard. Firm grip of the wrist. As Yarno. Yarno is pushing on that knee, grabbing his foot, trying to pull the foot inside his opponent's thigh so he could try and get a sweep. Now what he's looking for is a submission. Working those legs up high. Playing the high guard game. Big shots to the midsection. Oh, just messes with the elbow. Bump sweep attempt. Denied. Again with a wrist control. Frame off to the elbow. Here it comes. Oh, good defense from Yarno. Alashir doing a good job of avoiding the attacks from bottom, but he needs to do a little bit more than that. That's what he needs to do. Spears created by Yarno. Potential for an up kick here. Oh, oh. Right to the chops. X kick from the bottom. Two minutes left in the opening lines. Again, Yarno pushes the knee down. Very subtle technique. Pushes the knee down. Gives him the space he needs to get a foot in the hip or an elevator underneath his opponent's thigh. And once Yarno may be the guy on the bottom, he's been the one I think has been more proactive. He's landed the, the short elbows, he's landed the up kicks. Aside from the takedown, Yarno's potentially running this fight from his back. 
The takedown used to count for a very, very great deal in mixed martial yep. arts. The sport, the unified rules of mixed martial arts have evolved since then. Boom, oh, another up kick attempt, but that was preceded by two nice lefts to the head. My Alice is turning up the hate. To be careful not to be overzealous in these positions. Stack pass was successful. And in the north side position. They try and set up. They try and set up a north side shoot. Something we don't see a lot, Phil. Yarno tried an elbow from bottom north south. <laughs> Yarno trying to get in on a takedown of his own. Needs to be wary of a guillotine choke here. Potential Peruvian necktie. Very difficult in this position. Though. Very difficult in general. Yeah. Slides, slides it on through. Uh, no. It's a face crank right now. It's not a choke. Yarno manages to pop the head out, but that would have been incredibly uncomfortable. He's in on a heel. Doesn't quite Both of them are in on heels. Leg lock battle. 50-50 position here. This is where it's so dangerous because you have to commit both hands to the leg lock game, leaving yourself exposed to strikes. I always get a little bit nervous when I have somebody with terrible knees. I always get a little bit nervous when I see a heel hook. Wouldn't even know where to begin with deconstructing that fight with regards to the scoring. Both fighters had opportunity. Both fighters points where they were not being damaged. This was beautiful. Catching a kick straight down the middle into the takedown. Very, very clean out of us. Thank you, Brave Jim, for another look at the action in that wild first round. There you see the up kicks from Yardo Aarons. Yarno's going to be a little bit freer with the kicks or if that takedown has put a little bit of a tick in his head knowing that it's going to be caught. Nope, throwing the kicks happily. Oh, what a shot to the body. That absolutely echoed through the auditorium here. Oh! Phil, we just had our takedown of the night. That was incredible. Some lucky photographer has got an incredible shot if they caught that right. And into the mount position. A full, pretty much a full round with which to work from the mounted position. This is exactly where Yarno wants to be. Gives up the back. Yarno's got the back. Body triangle in. This position is secure. Trying to go for a Sula or trying to get an arm or the leg here. Alistair is going to try and throw him forward slightly if he can. Abandons it. He's now trying to work for the rear naked choke. He's not underneath the chin, but this is uncomfortable. Yeah, close, this is a fierce bar. It's incredibly uncomfortable. Giving the thumbs up to the referee. Very smart on the part of the fighters. Telling the referee, Brave Nation, that he's not in any danger of going out. Could eat some big shots here. That body triangle is tight. Alisher trying to throw his opponent forward. Uh, and attempting to, to buck Darno off. He may have just put himself deeper in a little bit of danger. Yarno just trying to soften up. Yarno staying busy, throwing light, light shots, trying to see what reaction he gets from his opponent, trying to get reads. He's gone bicep grip on it again. I don't think it's underneath the chin. Yarno's leaking all over the cage here. I'm not quite sure when the strike happened that cut him open. He's slowly trying to age his way underneath the chin. And if you're Abduliev and you're in this position, yes, it's uncomfortable, but you're hoping that Yarno doesn't realize he's not underneath the chin and puts everything into it. Not only is it uncomfortable, Phil, you know in this position you are losing 
large on the eyes of the judges. He's going to do everything he can, wait for one moment, and then explosively try and get out of there. Trying to shake his opponent just a little bit high. Grabbing the back of the head, trying to get him off. It's so much harder to do when your opponent has the body triangle locked up. This is an excellent technique when your opponent has hooks in. It's less effective against that figure four. Switches. Short choke attempt. Switches palm to palm, but once again, not quite underneath the chin. It's getting a little bit lower. You can see that cut corner of the eye of Yarno. I can't remember definitively where that may have happened in the rounds. Clash your head, perhaps? Abduliev doing the right thing by rolling to the side. That the triangle is locked on to alleviate some of that pressure. But Yarno doing a great job of bringing him back to the center point. Less than one minute, Brave Nation. Oh, doing a little bit of talking to one another. Oh, it's gonna be a fly in the cage. We'll see an Alice Sher throwing some strikes. Potentially throwing some insults. Yeah. Strikes and insults from back being back mounted. Little muffler attempt there. I'll be interested to see just exactly where that cut is on the eye of Jarno. It's just on the inside of the ridge of the brow. So it's not causing an impediment to his vision. It is in all likelihood a relatively safe place for a cut. We've got world-class medical team here. They will doubtly, doubtless have a look at it in between the rounds. But I don't believe it's going to be an impediment. We've got 10 seconds now, Brave Nation. Carrick, question. Of That was potentially a 10-8 round, but I didn't see any submission attempts that were close enough or heavily damaging strikes that were close enough. However, as I said earlier, the submission here in Germany is in world class. They are at the bleeding edge of mixed martial arts technology, mixed martial arts development, and if in their opinion it's a 10-8, I absolutely wouldn't disagree. However, I do not think it was a submission attempt that was close enough. I do not think the strike. We're damaging enough. Still all to play for. Yarno Ahrens has the momentum. Let's see if he can carry it into round three. Double touch of the hands. That shows double respect. Oh, just shy with the uppercut. Ali Chef counters beautifully. about the striking exchanges in the opening third and final round here. Alisher determined to land a big shot. Oh, he's just throwing out well here. Wants to make this third round his by doing something very definitive. Yorno is always dangerous. He has a fantastic uppercut, a rear uppercut of his, the fight that, or the strike that turned out the lights of Max Kruger. Thanks to Adam He has the arms trapped. Elbows just a little high right now. It's on the side of the jaw. Not down on the trachea. There's going to be an escape. Right. There it is. Fantastic back on fourth fight here, Kirk. Very, very difficult to score. This is why I'm much happier in my position as a commentator than our judging friends. Yarno likely to start trying to attack from bottom. Realistically, neither fighter can afford to, to rest here with such a finely poised fight. Be interesting to see how the judges score that first round. Alisher would likely do himself a favor if he tries to pass at least to top half guard. Yarno has that knee shield in. 
Let's it go. Back to close guard. Nice little elbow from the bottom there. Guard is open. Fits on the hip. Third time. I love that technique. Take the hand. Push the knee down. Create that space you need to get that foot in the hip. From there, create a little bit of distance from which you can stand, strike, or submit. Mate, I thought he was going to drop down for the leg there. But he's going to drop down for the calf crush. Decided to abandon it. Halfway through the third round, Brave Nation. Close guard here right in the center of the cage. Oh, arm bars in place. Sweep. Control. Triangle. They switch to the triangle. Oh, Escape. beautiful transition. Technique, back take. Back take again from Yarno. No hooks in yet. Incredible fight. Yarno sticking. One hook in, Brave Nation. Yarno sticking to Alisher like a backpack. May choose to lock his feet here in that reverse half guard position. I'm trying to get that other hook in. He's a little bit too much on the side here for me. Readjusts. There it is, both hooks. Denied. Hook was denied. Quick little hand yanked it off. May switch to the body triangle again. Has to let it go, coming up to the final minute. Both these guys have to go for broke. Take down a 10 by Alisher. of the wizard to keep himself standing from Yarno. Less than a minute now. Can either of these fighters land something big? Phil, one huge move right here could win the entire fight. A huge takedown, a huge shot. Both of these athletes so finely poised, so evenly matched. Rolling, going fight, big knee from Merens. Doing a good job here, not to be taken down. Quick look at the time, see how much is left. Frame, it's gonna be a knee, and then an elbow, likely an elbow, and then an escape. Escape was denied. Seeing some of the action from that third and final runs. Great nation, unlike most sports, if you watch cricket, if you watch football, when the match ends, you know who won. Right now, we do not know who won. And this moment, this long minute of anticipation, is one of the most exciting things that happens in this sport. Unless you're one of the fighters. Here the fighters are going through mental torture right now, asking their coaches, did I win? Have I done enough? And sure both fighters believe they have done enough to win. And conceivably, you could make an argument for either fighter here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for these two. An incredible bout once again. After three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. Your first judge scores about 29-28. Your next judge scores about 29-28. And your third judge scores about 29-27 for unanimous decision victory. Out of the red corner, Jarno! And